It's literally been so long since I last uploaded a video and I just wanted to preface this video by saying if you haven't already subscribed or checked out my content, what we're going to go into today, me doing rough environmental studies, I condensed a two hour long process of sketching and then coloring. Again, if you want to know anything in specific, feel free to leave a comment down below. So the image on the left is the reference image and then I also had it on the um, file I was working on. And I tried to make sure I didn't zoom in too much just so that it doesn't like hurt your eye as I'm zooming in and out. So I just tried to keep it full window so you could see the whole thing and it made it easier for me. All right, so here we go. I'm establishing um, the horizon line and then where the points all meet. Um, but there's two and they don't meet towards the center. They meet off the camera, like one goes off to the right and one goes off to the left. And then the railings at, on the floor, I kind of messed up there. They don't curve um, that much. They're very um, straight coming from an angle, but I kind of took liberty there and one thing to note is that I never draw cars I have I rarely I rarely use any reference image that has cars and this photo reference I use was in San Francisco this image I took myself so um, I wanted to use a reference image that I take, and that also was inspired by Arenji Kun. So here I am, I'm establishing the everything in a distance. I'm generally, for sketching, I work from foreground to background, and that just helps me to like, that helps me to kind of like, what do you call it, proportion keep the proportions correct because I try to keep it as as accurate as possible and then for buildings I rarely draw a building so this exercise has really forced me to be more to be more critical and to be more critical and conscious of the lines that I place because I want to be more decisive and I want to I don't, I want clear and concise lines, consistent as well. And so the thing that I'm doing here is I'm just sort of roughly laying it all out. Like I'm trying to make sure that the perspective is as accurate as possible. Like I'm not using any guidelines and I will probably start using guidelines. Like there's like perspective guidelines that artists use in Photoshop and I haven't gone to that level yet but I will probably do that. Anyways, I feel like I'm ranting. So right now what I'm doing is that I really struggled with the buildings on the side that um, the distance in between each building as it goes further into the background, I really struggled with that because these buildings were very skewed and it's just the perspective of how I took each photo. And so the building is sort of slanted and I, I would say that this is a three point perspective because it's at a lower angle and it's also, um, there's two vanishing points off the sides, off each side. And so that it was, this one was really challenging, but I think I did a good job regardless because after I squirt, after I finished the building, I started doing a little bit of everything. I tried to do more of the more of the concrete floor, then a little bit of the greenery, like the trees that are off the sides. Apologies, a little bit sick. And so here I go. I was establishing how like hazy the mountains are in the back all the landscape in the back beyond the ocean there's like a little hill area and that's like way off the other side and so here i'm coloring in trying to figure out the closest like values as close as possible that i can get because i struggle a lot with trying to keep 
the lighting like saturated but also not too saturated that it takes away i try to be as accurate to the picture because i haven't gotten to the point in environmental studies that i feel comfortable enough to to experiment and so i would like to experiment more with like with um lighting but otherwise i started using the lasso tool just to section off parts where i can sort of detail parts as like abstract as possible like i don't try to be i'm not zooming in on each part i'm staying far away trying to see the bigger picture and that was my main focus when i'm doing this even though as difficult as as it was i still struggled but here i'm working from foreground to background but i mean no background to foreground <laughs> i apologize so working background to foreground i was um laying down the colors and then i go back and forth between like the the colors as in the highlights and the shadows but now i'm working on the windows off to the right side and that's where i struggled a lot because the architecture of the houses and the apartments was very difficult it's not like your straightforward apartments where it's just like a square house like it has a lot of design and it was very hard for me to do this part so i tried to go i try to work on everything um equally like i don't want to spend too much time on one thing so i tried to remind myself that and so this was recorded and so i had a little timer um from when i started and trying to keep that in mind i tried to make sure that i was using my time efficiently but otherwise the main thing that i was trying to do was add a little bit of texture to the building and so this is where i sort of zoomed in like i always wanted to stay um zoomed out so i can see the whole picture because when you zoom in you can't really see the bigger picture and so you'll focus on this little tiny part but then other parts haven't been worked on so here i am working on a different part i started working on the trees but then i got sidetracked and so i started working on the windows of the building and so again this is, has been very rough i didn't try to go too detailed because i'm not at a point yet where i feel comfortable enough to um to I, I don't know what i was trying to say i lost my train of thought but i'm still working on my environmental studies and so a lot of the things that i feel need to be worked on um I try to just move on from it because again, this is just a study. It's not meant to be perfect, but it's just meant to help me establish a, it's meant to help me establish a starting point. And so this is my step one. I'm working on it, but otherwise I think I am doing a really good job. I always am harsh on myself as we all are as an artist. I'm my own worst critic. And so here we're doing a little bit of detail on the car i'm going in with like a little bit of highlights i try to pick up here and there but otherwise i think i did a pretty good job and we're starting to wrap up now so i really rushed this part with the railing i didn't really give it too much time because i wanted to force myself on a time limit but i would say regardless i think i did a pretty good job i don't give myself enough credit for how much i've how far i've come as an artist but i would say as of right now this is pretty good like i'm happy with this so i'm showing you the final image and this is the final image that i have and i'm really proud of it even if it's just the first one of the many i'm hoping to do more so that i get comfortable enough the values are very mid-range there's not a lot of like there's not a lot of hierarchy between the highlights and the shadows but we're working on that and i would say thank you so much for watching and i hope that you enjoyed this and that you learned a little bit um and that you enjoyed this little process so i hope you have fun and Thank you so much. I want to say thank you so much for following, um, watching, and supporting me. 
I want to say thank you. And if you, I want to let you know that I do live stream. I do just a small bit of variety. I, I do a lot of art. I make a lot of art on Twitch because I'm working on building a portfolio to maybe have a portfolio where I can booth at conventions just for the experience. And I know that that is in, it, in itself very expensive and I have to figure out a lot of logistics and like the details of that. But I stream on Twitch art a little bit of just dance and um, variety of like cozy chaotic games like party games and most importantly I am an animator I do a lot of animation and so I'm working on it and if you would like to check it out I hope to make some more so that I can show you all what I do and what I really love to create and so thank you so much for watching and hopefully you learned something from this or you enjoyed it if you did enjoy it feel free to um, throw a thumbs up on the video I appreciate it and if you haven't already again subscribe to the channel and I would love to make more of these content where I keep doing environmental studies because I think it teaches a lot when you're working on broad shapes. And so, and the reason why I've been doing this, I personally would like to thank Orenji Kun Art. Orenji Kun Art is a content creator. And so I just want to give them appreciation and credit for that. And so, in the next video will be another environmental study or possibly fan art but otherwise thank you again have a good one i think that's it and so peace out girl scout